Tua Tagovailoa has a realistic chance to play this week, despite all the controversy and concussion protocol, and here is why. This is Dr. David Chow, Pro Football Doc, Sports Injury Central at SICscore.com. Let's break it down. Tua's concussion, the investigation, the firing of the UNC, new protocols have dominated the news cycle over the last few days and week or two. But despite all of this, here's why we feel Tua actually has a realistic chance to play more than Teddy Bridgewater. Let's break it down. The investigation results from the NFLPA and NFL investigation did not specifically find any malfeasance from the UNC that was let go by the NFLPA. That is their right. They did not specifically find that Tua had a concussion that first Sunday before the Thursday game where everyone saw him posturing with the fingers. If he did have a second concussion, then he would for sure be ruled out for the entire month of October. He was ruled out early last week. But based on the investigation and based on what the Dolphins are saying, there is no firm word that he has a second concussion. The Dolphins are calling it a first concussion. As such, it does potentially open up the door for him to return. Last week, the Dolphins ruled him out early and it sort of quelched the firestorm. Now there's a new protocol. As a result of the investigation, what it found is that the Dolphins and the UNC did attribute the quote, gross motor instability to the back spasm. And this is why he passed the concussion protocol, the rest of it, and was allowed to return. With the new protocol, the main change is you can't find an excuse for that ataxia. So because someone spotted Teddy with the instability or ataxia, he was automatically ruled out. We didn't see it on the TV cameras, but the spotters that are there with binoculars, you know, have a continuous view. And because of that, even though Teddy Bridgewater passed the rest of the concussion protocol, he still was ruled out and placed in the protocol. That's the change. When in doubt, leave them out. You can't have that excuse. Documented neurologic injury was always a rule out. The big change in the protocol is visual neurologic change, ataxia, is enough to roll it out. And that in and of itself, that's the change. And ironic, it's happened to the Dolphins twice. They've been the focus. So why do we think that Tua can actually play? We think that Tua is actually more likely to play than Teddy. Since all the controversy started, there have been quicker rule outs, not a bad thing, and no player to a knowledge has returned the next week. Prior to the controversy, about 50% of the players as we tracked it returned the following week from concussion. Since the Tua controversy, and it's only been you know the second week now, no player has returned in one week due to the heightened uh, senses and the scrutiny about concussions. Thus, it is probably unlikely for Teddy to play. If Tua indeed did not have a second concussion and he tests well, he indeed could be cleared to play this week. Will the Dolphins try and sit him again and put in Skylar Thompson? They're trying to win a division and they're trying to be competitive. If they firmly believe Tua didn't have a second concussion and, and it was the first one, and I get most of the world believes he had two, but if their medical exam believes that and the investigation didn't find otherwise, this is why we believe it opens up the door for Tua Tagovailoa to be the Dolphins starting quarterback this week. This is Dr. David Chow. See constant updates for all injury items at SICscore.com. Thanks.